Hey, what is up guys? Tyler here with Secure Team. So I have some strange UFO sightings that I want to show you guys today. Now if you remember earlier in the week, I posted a video about this mysterious sighting that occurred over uh, the UK. Uh, just south of Gloucester, if you remember, it was a couple of planes, two different planes, two different pilots who were out uh, in the evening around 8 o'clock at night doing some training exercises when at one point both pilots spotted this mystery red light off in the distance. Uh, one of the pilots even swung around trying to get closer to the light to get a better shot. But according to his testimony, the strange mystery light evaded the planes. It was between five and 7,000 feet. Sometimes the object would sit still, other times it would move and evade the planes as they tried to approach it. Um, now, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below. And you're seeing that original Facebook post by the pilots at this airport, posted it to their official uh, uh, Facebook page, and uh, you guys can check that out. But we have some new footage here, also over England, of yet another mystery red light that we are now trying to figure out. What is this? What is this? What is Okay, so uh, this was recorded, posted to YouTube on February 22nd, and we don't really have any further information as to exactly where this was. Uh, now, I, I don't know what this is. I want to put the word out to you guys to try to figure it out, but we've been seeing a lot of these red lights lately, and as you can see in this video, this light seems to be just sitting completely still in the sky. Um, I don't know what the deal is with these red lights, but we've been seeing a lot of them. We have the pilots over England spotting the strange red light that was evading them. Then we have this new piece of footage here. And then we also had a sighting that I actually previously was going to mention, but had gotten sidetracked, where over the Philippines, there had been yet again another mystery glowing red light that was just totally freaking people out. And there was a news report about it that you're seeing here. Samantala, hinihinalang UFO o unidentified flying object po ang kakaibang ilaw na namataan naman sa kalangitan sa Pulupandan, Negros Occidental. Ano kaya ang tingin ng mga eksperto dito? Manuulin po natin ito. Ilaw na lulubog, lilitaw at gumagalaw. UFO raw o unidentified flying object Yan ang itinimbre sa programang Kapuso mo, Jessica Soho, ng isang residente ng isang baryo sa Pulupandan, Negros Occidental. Ang misteryosong ilaw, madalas daw... And while I'll just go ahead and not play the audio because it's not in English, I'll put the link to it down below. But apparently, the, over the Philippines, there has been a wave of these mystery red UFOs or lights in the sky that have been happening for years. And it seems to come in waves uh, specifically over the Philippines, but... This news report was posted February 17th, so all of these different sightings are happening relatively within the same time frame. February 17th, February 22nd, just a week ago, the story about the two pilots above England. And so, yeah, I wanted to show you guys this new footage. Are any of you experiencing or have you seen any of these strange lights in the sky? If you have, try to get photos, preferably video of them send it in or upload it to YouTube and then send me the link and uh, we'll try to see what more we can find. Very strange footage over England here, so tell me what you guys think. Now in other news, here we have a photograph that was snapped from an airliner. So someone was up in a plane flying a photographer and during one of the photos as they were snapping them, you know, one after the other very quickly, they noticed this very strange streak of light moving just at the top of the frame. It happened very quickly and they were wondering when they posted it to YouTube whether this was a legit UFO, a shooting star. And as you guys are seeing that uh, photograph here, we have this beautiful shot of the clouds below. And then right at the top of the frame, uh, what almost appears like a fireball. And we've seen these things before. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll talk more about these fireballs here in a second. But uh, just to get a close-up shot of this, it definitely appears that they caught something. 
streaking very quickly through the sky, and especially if this was some type of meteor or something like that, these things are lightning fast. So you gotta be really lucky to capture these things on video. We get more videos of them than photos because it's just hard to know when these things are going to appear. And when I saw this image here, and you can see this, this sort of fireball-like shape to it, it's, it's different from other UFOs that we've seen. It reminded me of a couple of other photos, but one specifically, because we've been seeing these things over the years, and that photo it reminded me of, you're seeing here, captured back in 1966. And there is a treasure trove of these vintage UFO photographs that you can look up online. But this was snapped above uh, an airport in Zurich, Switzerland, where people had noticed these two red glowing fireball-like objects streaking through the skies, one behind the other. And when you compare this photo to this new one out of the plane here, you can see the resemblance. Some of these things streak through the sky, but I don't think that they're all meteors. I think there's something more to this, because some of these things will come in pairs, threes, fours, and they'll be moving together in a very tight formation. Here is another vintage photo of yet again four more of these mystery fireballs, we call them, uh, caught moving in a very tight V formation caught in the skies, I, I think it looks to be back in the 1950s, some, sometime in the 50s, possibly 60s. But yeah, could this be a, a UFO? It's obviously unidentified, but could it be a, a meteor that was just captured by happenstance? Tell me what you guys think, and if you check out that video I posted earlier in the week regarding the two pilots, we also went through some other uh, mystery footage and photographs of just some of the strange things that have been captured outside of these airplanes by passengers or from people down on the ground. So, lastly today, we have something that was caught streaking through the skies above Cleveland, Ohio. It was actually captured by someone who was watching the uh, live NBC news on TV where they were showing this nighttime shot, a weather cam shot of the Cleveland area where... Out of nowhere, as these things typically happen, something very strange was captured blasting through the skies. A lot of strange things happening, guys. Did you see this over Cleveland? If you did, put it in the comments down below. I want you all to know that I have more UFO footage in the works. Um, there was some footage I couldn't feature today because I'm in the process of speaking with the owner of one of the videos just to get some more information, so look out for that very enigmatic piece of footage. And if you didn't catch it, be sure to check out the uh, interview, very eye-opening interview that I just did with Russell Targ. If you don't believe in psychic abilities or remote viewing, hopefully uh, this interview I did, which I posted along with some really cool footage during the interview, well, let's just say I am uh, definitely a believer now. So check that out if you haven't yet. I'll put all the links down below. And as always, stay tuned, stay safe, be sure to share and subscribe, and I'll see you guys back in just a bit.